Uh, back on the cafe this morning is Martin Cooper, Managing Director of Harcourts Cooper & Co. Welcome, Martin. Good morning. Good morning. Great to see you. So you've been busy with um, Christmas parties. Yeah, yeah, it's been a busy festive season with so many branches. It's good. Yeah, um, well, it it's is. sort of a first world problem. Complain, Too many. <laughs> compl complaining about Christmas parties. How bad is that? Well, How let's talk, terrible. No, yeah. <laughs> well, let's talk about real estate. What happens to the property market over the holiday season? Well, it's uh, well traditionally uh, years ago everything used to close down. People would take their holiday break, but um, more recently we've been marketing properties through the Christmas New Year period and had absolutely great response, great clearance rate at our auctions, and great success. So. Yeah. It's a good time to market. So would you say if you are selling over this period then you don't need to take your campaign off the market or whatever, off for a while and leave it and then put it back on in January? You can just keep going straight through Christmas? Well we've had good success launching a campaign prior to going into the print media prior to Christmas. Um, the print media, the property press publication for example stays right through the Christmas mm -hmm. New Year period. Do you run but open homes through that time as well? Yeah, yeah, the, they are available for open homes but also go. by appointment. <laughs> Most, some of the salespeople want to take a break, but there are quite a lot of the sales team that work right through. And then if you've got an online presence, if you're on realestate.co.nz, so you've got online presence for your campaign as well as print media. And the other interesting thing about it is, with, like we've got Chinese New Year, in the Auckland property market, the Chinese are a big contributor. Chinese New Year is on the 28th of January 2017. Mm -hmm. So the Chinese community still keep shopping and buying through our traditional Christmas period. Plus you have people on holiday, so they've got more time to look, more time to do the research. Well, I was just going to say that. Is it due to the fact that they do have more time to sit down, look online, yeah. look through the property press and see what's going on? Yeah, the pace of life's a bit slower. Plus you get the people with New Year's resolutions, right, let's get cracking, let's buy something. And if you're, if you're waiting until later on, if you're waiting until later on to launch, so is everyone else. So if you put your property on the market over the Christmas New Year period, there's less choice more opportunity of you capturing a buyer. So it's a good time, strategically a good time to go to the market. Okay, can you just tell me what is under, what, if, what is this? <laughs> it's been bugging me since we well, sat down. Well, I just thought there'd be some tricky questions, so I always bring my crystal ball. <laughs> so, it's always good to yeah, travel with one of those, yeah. Martin, always. So ask away and this is where the answers are. Oh, okay, so what is the property market going to do <laughs> <Yes>. next year? <laughs> uh, it's, well, it's booming again. <laughs> Next year. <laughs> Fantastic. Funny it that. is for those who get into it, who participate. Right. Uh, other people say it's going to crash or it's, they, the people who procrastinate are the people with the problem. If you want to buy a house, get in, get on with it and do it. That's what the crystal ball is saying. Okay, what are the lotto numbers for this weekend? <laughs> <laughs> got them. Okay. You got them? Oh, right. Hang on, hang on. Okay, so no, that's, my, that's the question I asked. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent work. <laughs> Thank you, Martin. Have yourself a great Christmas yeah, as Merry well. Christmas. Yeah, yes, yeah, for sure. you too. Very, very, very Merry busy. Christmas. We may see you out of some open homes. I'll be there waiting. Okay. <laughs> You're right. Well, now that we've got the line numbers, you just might. Yeah. <laughs> great advice as always, Martin. Thank you.